Welcome to Police 10-8 Talk. I'm Joel. Bosco's floating around here somewhere. Got a little product we're going to do a quick review on. Uh, we were contacted by a little, little company that I'll tell you the name of. But they sent us a couple of their items, which are magazine base plates that Bosco and I have been using for about a week or so. So give us just a sec. We're going to change the camera angle. I'll tell you the name of them, show them to you, then we'll shoot a few rounds and uh, give you some impressions on them. So we'll be right back. Well, guys, what we have arranged for you on the uh, little bench here, trying to give you a little bit better contrast of it. This, these base, this is your standard Glock base plate. This particular one is a Glock 42. This is a Glock 42. Uh, ETS magazine with a G plate G E E P L A T E that stands for Glock Essential Enhancement Base Plate. So I've got one on a 42 here. Here's one on my beloved Glock 43 magazine. And if you notice, here's your standard Glock plate. There's no protrusion at the end, whereas the G plate is a has this little lip molded at the end. Put them like this to give you a little bit better look. Right now, G plate uh, manufactures uh, the base plates for the Glock 42 and the 43. They are not extended base plates. They don't give you any added capacity. But they do give you this very subtle nub on the on the base plate. Uh, according to their, uh, this is off their website, says by adding this little finger extension on the G plate, you will improve your draw, retention, and control of follow-up shots. They're made from a uh, flexible polymer. They are a Texas-based company. And the price is $19.99 for two, for two of the base plates. Uh, we're going to load some magazines up and, and shoot them. I, I can tell you I've been using it for a little over a week now in my 43. I'm in love with this little, with this little shelf on the front of the magazine. Uh, I was skeptical at first when I was reading it, uh, improve your draw, and I'm like, oh, how's a base plate going to improve, improve the draw? But carrying from the appendix position, I've noticed when I draw, this actually does improve my grip on the draw, and it does help with control with follow-up shots. So uh, give us just a sec. We're going to load these up and shoot them. Hey everybody, this is Officer Bosco. Welcome back to Police uh, Today Talk. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, shooting some rounds to uh, our trusty camera ladies, uh, Glock 42, and testing out the key plate. Uh, so just give me a second, I'm going to throw some rounds down range, and remember this is a Glock 42 and 380 ACP. So just give me a second, stand by. Okay, going hot. Hot. It's a full magazine. Stand by a second. Joel's going to bring some rounds out of his uh, Glock 43 with the gee plate. So just stand by. Well, we just saw Bosco shooting a 42 using the G plate. Uh, now I'm going to shoot the 43 with the G plate. We'll be right back, give you some thoughts and some closing comments. Here we are back with you guys. Uh, we've been doing our little evaluation of the G plate or G plate. It's G E E P L A T E. Their website is www.geeplate.com. They were kind enough to, uh, to send us kind enough to send us these uh, base plates. I like it. It is. 
it has it, it's improved the the whole gun for me when I'm holding it as you can see it gives me a nice finger stop here uh, when I'm carrying this concealed I like to carry it with the with the flush six round mag in it because basically every time Bosco and I shoot or train or whatever I start with the short magazine because this is my best concealing magazine I have found this little lip nub whatever you want to call it on the front of the base plate it gives me a sure grip and it has improved my draw with it because I don't have to worry about slipping off of the gun so we're you got a little view of it there, and we did a, a view on a white background to start with. I like it. I think it's a nice, al <coughs> excuse me, a nice alternative when you're wanting to run the standard capacity magazine. It also fits on the on the 42. We put one on the standard Glock magazine, and then we put one on a ETS, ETS seven round magazine. It fits on it absolutely fine, no issues. Uh, Bosco had some interesting observations with it. Not so much with it in the 43, but he noticed something with the 42. So Bosco is going to address that with you. Yeah, the one thing I noticed in the 42, and it may just be, I mean, these are probably mold injections, so I can somewhat understand why you had this issue. But the one thing I noticed is on the back of the mag, which you can't really see it from the cam, and there's probably no way over to show you. The back of the mag, it kind of sticks out a little bit, and these edges are a little bit sharp. I mean, I, no I didn't notice it on the 43 mag extension, but on the 42, it sticks out enough where you can, that, that edge is sharp enough. It, it, it dug into my hand a little bit when yeah, I was shooting just, it. It's just it's slightly. The, it's just the very corner, back corner. Yeah. Seems like it... it I mean, it's something you could easily address yourself with a with a Dremel tool. It's just very light with a Dremel tool, but yeah, that corner is a little sharp. Yeah, it isn't nearly as pronounced. Yeah, this this one it tends to blend in a little bit more. This one, um, the back of the when it curves at the back here, the base plate's still straight. And I like said so we can't really show it on video. It's gonna be, it'll be hard to do it. But when I'm looking at it right now, I can see the two corners actually sticking out past the magazine. It's uh, past the uh, the grip. Okay. And the one side, like I said, is pronounced, and it did kind of dig in my hand a little bit. Mm -hmm. I did notice that. So maybe it needs to be flared a little bit more, you know, because it's a little blocky, but it doesn't match the grip. Whereas that one matches the grip, so you don't notice it on that one on the 42. And on both the base plates we had, I noticed that on both of them. Yeah. Um, and it's pronounced enough where that may dig into your hand a little bit if you're going to be shooting a lot with it. I mean, it's 380, but, you know, but I mean, still, if you shoot it a lot, that may become an issue, and that may be something you need to drum or maybe the guys at the, the, the gi, at the gi plate may be able to round these off a little bit better. Uh, because they do stick out and it's pronounced you can mm -hmm. I mean you can see now it we, I can see we, it by looking at it You can tell it's flared out. It we, sticks out past the grip. We can we can understand the line of thinking behind beside Behind having the magazine a, a wee bit wider so yeah. that if you had to rip it on a double feed It does give you a nice area to yeah. get a hold of we're just talking about these very back corners yeah, because I mean, you really don't. I mean, you and you really don't even need that for that because you have the front piece. So yeah. if you got to rip it, you got the front piece, which is one thing I do like about this gun is basically you can you can rip it out by the front piece. So the front part, the little part that sticks out. So you don't really need it on the back because you got the part on the front. Yeah. Good okay. Point. So I mean, good that's point. you know, you really don't need it. Um, but that was a little druther for me. For me, the grip wasn't as good for him. It wasn't. I didn't. No one. It wasn't good as, for you. It wasn't as good for me as it was for him. The Woo. grip because it kind of breaks up. You get the two fingers good, but then it kind of breaks up that little finger on the bottom, which for me doesn't work as well. So mm -hmm. that's my two druthers with it. However, I will give it props on the fact that I do like this floor plate. Because if you carry it like I carry most of my guns, I carry my guns fairly deep concealment. I don't have them sticking up too very far. This is nice because this little piece gives you a nice little part that fits on the outside of your belt. Yeah. So that way you make sure that that gun doesn't move down any further. So it does give you a nice little index on the belt part of it. So I, de I definitely like that part of it, but the, the grip overall didn't work quite as well for me as it did for him. Love it. Well, guys, uh, this is our review of the G plate. Like I say, I, whenever I'm not at work, this gun's with me. I've grown quite attached to him. I will be getting some more.
for some of my other magazines uh, make sure you give us a like or subscribe it should be down here somewhere and uh, another big shout out to G plate for supplying us these base plates check them out check us out Bosco never be safe and watch sixth